welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. We have got two projects in one video for you today, all inspired by the ocean. And the first one we are gonna be doing is fully inspired by Monday's video. If you missed it, I will link it here, but we used abalone shells in Jesmonite for the very first time and I was obsessed. I said in that video that I really wanna try this with more neutral tones, more natural kind of creams and sandy colors as well, and just go for a more natural look. And that is the first project that I am doing in today's video using all of the naturalsnessness of the, the naturals. <laughs> This is what I'm talking about, this beautiful sandy color. And I actually decided to look through all of the tubs that I got, they are from Amazon. I will link them below as well. And I put some in a cup that kind of all work together. So we have got some peachy tones, creamy tones, sandy tones, and some white all in together because look at these, they are so beautiful. The next section is sped well and truly up for you because this took a hot minute. I actually placed them down individually by hand, one at a time, making sure that they are evenly spaced, that they are all flat. There's beautiful gaps in between them all. I wanted to make sure that every kind of inch of this coaster had a little bit of interest in there. And you really do not want them sitting on top of each other. You don't want them resting against each other because that is going to give you massive blowout kind of air pockets. But yes, sped up because this took a long time. I did it the right way around this time. I actually placed my abalone shells down into the mold before pouring my jesmonite. Now, this mold is the round coaster mold by Molds and Shapes. Again, there is a 5% discount for you over at Molds and Shapes and I will leave that detail down below. But I just carried on and just put them all in. And in the end, I even used a little bit of the dust, like the real small pieces just to fill in the gaps. And this is what it's looking like. You can see all that dust Oh my gosh, I absolutely love them. Now, I mixed my jesmonite, my liquid part A, and my powder together. I wasn't quite sure, you know, it's been a while since I've done jesmonite coasters. Wasn't quite sure how much I needed. Here's the thing. We are not putting any colour in this jesmonite at all. We are going au natural, totally natural, earthy, sandy tones. And when jesmonite doesn't have any colour in it, it does come out like a beautiful kind of cream color it's definitely not white if you wanted white white you would have to add your white pigment but these are perfect for what i was going for the last thing i did on these before giving them a shimmy and a shake i ran around the inside edge with a cocktail stick the reason i do this is because jesmonite is a super thick consistency and you do often get pockets air pockets around the edges of your pieces just run your cocktail stick down in and around those edges to try Try, try, it's not guaranteed, try and eliminate. Guys, look at these. I love them. I love them. They are so beautiful. Exactly what I was going for. That beautiful, sandy, natural, total beach vibe. Now, there is a beach up in the highlands of Scotland that is just shells. Did you know that? I've not been, we never went there, but it's known, I think it's known as the Coral Beach and apparently it's not sand. You are literally walking on crunchy shells and I kind of imagine this is what it would look like. I don't know, if you've been there, let me know. There are a few air pockets on these. Now, when you lay things down in your silicone mold, sometimes they're not 100% flat. You could, if you wanted to, fix the tops of these using some natural jesmonite. That's the beauty of not using any color in your jesmonite because you can easily match it. You can fill the top, scrape and fill all of those holes, almost like polyfiller on your walls, but they're not that bad and I am not about the sand in life. So I'm gonna leave them as is. They are gorgeous. I love them so, so much. I would finish these off with a cork base and make them look super smart. Now, 24 hours later, I am sealing them. I am gonna use the Finishing Touch Wax by Homeware Design. Again, there is a discount for Homeware Design. I will link that down below. And I'm just gonna give them a really thorough rub, like rub all over, all around the edges. I was really intrigued to see how the wax would work with the abalone shells. Would it cover them up or how would it work? And I, I feel like it polished them. <laughs> I feel like it polished them even even more. So a really nice layer of wax on these. Again, leave them to dry overnight. 
and you are done. Bob your uncle, how easy is that? How easy is this project to get such a beautiful finish? I absolutely love them. Let me know what you think in the comments. And the second project is coming up around about now. For the second project, we are using the silicon inlays by Wendy over at Toonpish Crafts. Oh my gosh, guys, this one here is beautiful. Wendy actually sent me this one. She sent me two and I bought one as well, but this is the one that she sent me. This is her turtles and it is so beachy. I knew I had to use it. Again, it does need to be cut. So it doesn't need to be cut. Like it depends what you're making, but I am gonna cut out two circles and in order to get them to fit my coasters exactly-ish, <laughs> hindsight, um, I am going to use a coaster that I've already made using this mold, the same mold by Molds and Shapes. I have this circle coaster. If you watched my recent washi tape videos, you will recognize this coaster from there. Everything sits on my shelf and uh, I grab it when I need it. So I'm just drawing around this coaster because I know that this came out of that mold. That's going to give me the circles I want now. Hindsight is a wonderful thing. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I was cutting just inside the line. Don't do that. Do not do that. If you want this to fit your coasters perfectly, if you want it to fit your mold perfectly, don't do it with coasters. Now, I tend to do that with the trinket trays because I don't want my inlays hanging over the edge of the inside ledge of the trinket trays. However, coasters, I think you can afford to cut bang on the line, whereas I unfortunately cut just inside the line. And you will see why this wasn't ideal. It did give us a bit of a lip around the edge of our coasters. Once I had worked out where I need to cut. Now, if you're wondering why I cut right in the middle of the silicon inlay, that is because I wanted two tur turtles, tortoises. <laughs> I wanted two turtles per coaster. And where the pattern was, I had to cut exactly where I had to cut. So there was no saving silicon by cutting around the edges, unfortunately. Now, we are using the amazing Yvonne's Glitters over at Resin Supplies Den on Facebook. I'll link the Facebook page down below. Yvonne sent me a huge stash of glitters. I am kind of getting around to using them and I settled for this one here. This one here is called Sahara. I figured it would work perfectly with the sandy beachy theme because, you know, I know there's no beach near the Sahara, but we could, yes, yeah, it's, it's okay. They're the right colours. They're the right colours and they're going to tie in as well with those abalone coasters. Now, I did start using my tweezers. I swapped out to my hands. What I want here is I want the glitter to be very scattered, but I don't want any on the turtles. So I did have to take my time making sure that there was no glitter at all sitting on those turtles because I have plans for those turtles. I am mixing up my jesmonite again in a cup this time. I did not sieve my powder this time and it was very noticeable. The lumps and the clumps in jesmonite is real, so always sieve your powder. The colour I am using to colour this jesmonite is the Homeware Design Pigment. I am using the colour Latte and just one single drop of Latte. Look at this colour. I was toying with the idea of going for another strong marble like you would have seen in Monday's video but I then decided to just mix it as much as possible leaving a little bit of coloured texture. You know there's a little bit of white floating in there but it's definitely not a marble. Again the glitter was placed down on top of the silicon inlay so the jesmonite will pick it all up and I'm pouring from high up so that it kind of knocks down into all of those nooks and crannies. Now you can see me here using a cocktail stick again to run around the inside edge of these coasters. It was fiddly. I was feeling the silicon inlay. I kept kind of knocking it and bumping it. So I was a bit worried about the finish, but here we are 30 minutes later. It is time to demold and oh my goodness me. The colour on this, this latte is probably up there with the Zen Green from Homeware Design and it is time to peel back the inlays. First thoughts, wow, the edges are shocking, but I'm only here showing you how to do things. <laughs> That's my excuse. I'm not saying these will not be going to market, but look at this inlay, guys. Wendy, I love it so much. I absolutely love this inlay and now you can see why I cut them where I cut them because I really wanted two turtles per coaster 
and it has worked a dream. And Yvonne's glitters, look at these. Oh gosh, it's just the right amount. It's not too much. It's just delicate. It's picking it up. It's reflecting. And of course, glitter sticks to Jesmonite real well. I would always recommend putting glitter down into your mold and not into your Jesmonite. Okay, look at these edges. These edges are they're like Shakespeare. They're a tragedy, guys. <laughs> but you know what? Just spend a little bit more time doing your edges and hopefully we can just not get those. As it stands, I don't mind the lip around the edge because after all, it is a coaster. So that's almost acting like a little wall to keep your cup in. Okay, this is 24 hours later. We are filling. We are using our white acrylic paint to fill in the indentations of the inlay. Again, this is optional. Please remember that everything I'm doing in my videos is generally intentional. I don't intend for the mistakes to happen, but the things you see me do, they're generally because I want to do them. I do get a lot of questions like, why didn't you do it this way? Or you should have done it this way. But remember guys, you can do it any way you want. And if there is something I'm doing in my video, it's because I wanted to do it that way at the time. So for me, I wanted to bring out the detail of these turtles and this silicon inlay by Wendy. And I already know that acrylic paint in Jesmonite does work for indentations and embossings, but you need to be fast here. Acrylic paint sticks to Jesmonite really well, really, really well. They are both acrylic based, but what you do want to do is have a wet wipe I would recommend using like disposable wet wipes, not disposable, um, biodegradable wet wipes um, or a cloth. Have a cloth handy. So we're rubbing the paint in to all of those areas and then we are really not taking too much time before we rub the paint off because acrylic paint also dries super, super fast. Now, what you can see me doing here is holding the wet wipe in my finger. This is not the best way. What this is doing is... It's putting an uneven pressure on the surface of the mold and it's taking paint out. So it's actually taking paint out of areas that I really want that paint to stay in. So on this one here, you'll see that I saturated the whole surface. I really went to town on the paint, making sure that I was shoving it down into all of those little nooks and crannies of the silicon inlay. And then I did something different with my wet wipe. I got my wet wipe and I rolled it up. So I've got maybe two or three wet wipes together and I kind of rolled them up like a bread roll, like a bread roll. And I used it as a whole. So instead of putting my finger in and putting pressure on certain areas, I used it as a flat, almost like a flat surface. So really none of that paint was getting dragged back out. But it's really not a problem if you wanted, if you dragged paint out accidentally, you can just put the paint back in, do it again. It's really easy. Now, as for sanding, this is 24 hours after demold. I would never recommend 24 hours because it is hard, guys. The Jesmonite is rock solid at this point and it is so hard to sand after 24 hours even though that is the recommendation by like <laughs> headquarters they do say sand after 24 hours absolutely not ignore them <laughs> sand immediately after demold I didn't really worry about sanding these down because really what am I going to sand all of the edges are absolutely terrible so if I start sanding back those edges I'm going to be left with no edges whatsoever and again I'm not sanding them so here they all are i hope you've enjoyed two projects in one video so much to do so little time i just i just want to spend 24 hours a day in my craft room anyway let me know which ones are your favorites are they the natural more organic earthy sandy abalone shells or the inlays i actually can't pick because i love them both equally because they're both so different and they have different things to offer us but thank you so much to Yvonne for your glitters thank you to Wendy for your inlays shapes molds all of the above the abalone shells are from Amazon purchase myself everything will be linked down below if you want to recreate anything that you've seen in this video let me know your thoughts down below and I will see you all on 
Saturday, guys. Saturday is Christmas in July 2023. Open invite, open collaboration. I am inviting you all to take part. I have been talking about it for two months on my Instagram and on my YouTube community page. So if you are new to my channel and you've never heard this before, I am sorry in advance, but it is this Saturday. Head over to my Instagram to check out the information and I will see you all there. I cannot wait. Jingle, jingle, jingle. What's the song? I can't remember. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do.